Should the video game Call of Duty get federal funding? It's kind of get to know them. That's a question for the federal government, who is now considering giving taxpayer money to video game makers in the name of art and education. Is this a good use of your cash? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, Brian Ambrosi, the editor-in-chief of Iconic.com, a gaming technology and geek lifestyle community, and radio talk show host, Neil Asbury. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Brian, uh, let me start with you. When you think of video games, you do think of Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto and the like. Exactly who would be getting these taxpayer dollars and why? Well, I want to make sure that um, the understanding is that uh, those types of commercial games are not uh, at all uh, up for any sort of federal funding. So it's the same as saying, like, you know, the latest uh, Hollywood blockbuster is up for federal funding. Uh, what we're talking about is... Uh, Games given to uh, or grants given to indie developers who develop uh, educational and artistic games uh, uh, that the NEA deems have artistic merit. And why? Well, uh, video games are a valid form of art, just like uh, film and uh, music and anything else. I mean, you have basically in the video game development process uh, several artists creating a product that, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Can only be considered art. Okay. Well, let's bring in Neil. Neil, is uh, are video games a valid form of art, and should they get taxpayer dollars? We're talking between ten and two hundred thousand dollars per grant. Hey, maybe we should start giving uh, taxpayer money to ping pong players, because some people might think that ping pong is an art. But to me, ping pong is just a game. Hey, look, I was a music major in college, and I love the arts. But when tens of millions of Americans are out of work, there's so much pain and suffering, and there's so much fear and uncertainty about this budget crisis, uh, our government seems to be stretching the limits of wastefulness, not containing it. You know, so many of these programs... Uh, uh, they had lofty goals when they began, like the National Endowment of the Arts, but they have become a perversion of what they were once intended to be. Does anybody believe that we should be borrowing 43 cents on every dollar to produce video games? I mean, that's absolutely absurd. The National Endowment You're for Arts. About... Well, Brian, that's the question. Tens of billions of dollars in these tight economic times where we're making cuts, cutting teachers. Should things like this be the first to go? Have they outlived their original purpose? Not at all, because if you think about it, uh, the, the jobs that you're talking about and the, 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 the economic suffering that we're going through, uh, video gaming it, as an industry is one of the strongest industries in the United States. It's one of our strongest products. And, uh, you know, I'm talking to, to, to people who are entertainers, so you guys should understand that the entertainment industry alone is, is very strong for our economy. And uh, indie developers uh, and grants given to those kinds of uh, educational and artistic games, uh, they're not going to be commercial successes, mm -hmm. but those people uh, can inspire children and, uh, you know, to go out into that industry, create jobs, create a, a, a strong uh, economic backbone. Neil, quick for, last uh, word. economy. Yeah, well, my, my point is this, is that the, the silver lining in all of this should be to the American people that there's so much wastefulness going on. So before we start talking about raising everyone's taxes, let's go after all of this wasteful spending. I mean, there's billions of dollars out there. I mean, we're spending money like there's no tomorrow. Maybe there is no tomorrow. Yeah. President Obama wants to raise my taxes to pay for video games? Come on, give me a break. Gentlemen, thank you both. Let us know how you feel about this on Twitter at FFWeek.